Oh yes! <laughs> oh yeah! That's a good one. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm out off Cronulla fishing the shallow, shallow reefs. I'm fishing in less than 15 meters of water today. Bit of a vlog style episode for you guys to watch. Sort of just gonna go through a few techniques and give you a few tips, but the majority of the session is all about catching some really, really nice snapper here on the shallow reef. So here we go, let's see how we go. Take along for the ride. Bakers to start the morning. Fish. Nothing special. Outfit for the day is the Daiwa Legalis, three to seven kilo. Let me get the exact model for you. 802 MFS, which is a three to seven kilo rod, eight foot long. Great rod for the shallow water snapper fishing here off Sydney or any of the close inshore reefs all around Australia. We've got a two and a half thousand size crossfire reel with 15 pound braid, 20 pound leader on. Then I've got a quarter ounce 4.0 jig head and I've been using Daiwa bait junkies. I've got a different version, I've got a little Berkeley flick on at the moment because I've run out of all my bait junkies. I'll show you what I was using. I was using the Daiwa bait junkie flick today, um, but I've run out of all of them. I've gone through the whole packet today. So good session if you go through a whole packet, but unfortunately I didn't have any spare. But uh, yeah, that was the killer lure for today that got all those snapper on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, snap up finally. Could be a keeper actually. Yeah, it's a good size one, actually. Nice little peeny, 33. Perfect little pan sized fish, great for the barbecue for us, for me and Taryn. Um, but yeah, such good fish. Still so disappointed that I dropped that big one, but yeah, so cool. All right, so go through a bit of the sort of technique that I use while I'm fishing these shallow reefs for snapper. I've got a quarter ounce jig head on with a five inch Daiwa Bait Junkie Flick. Um, it's a white colored one. I like the white colored or the baby bass are my two favorite. There's also a Pilchers one that I use occasionally. So there's like my three main ones, I guess three main colors that I use. I use five inch here in Sydney. Bait fish in Sydney is often a lot smaller. So the majority of the time I'll use five inch. I do have seven inches there. If, um, if I want to really, really try to get maybe a 70 plus, uh, but they are very rare here off Sydney. So five inch just increases your, that was a stag. Um, increases your catch rate a bit more. Um, so technique for you guys, cast in the direction that you're drifting. So I'm drifting straight towards this direction. Whoop, and I got hit by something on the way up. Um, drifting straight towards this direction. So I'm gonna cast in that direction.
cast in that direction as far as you can and let it sink. Give it plenty of time to sink. I'm using quarter ounce because one, I'm not drifting a lot and two, I'm fishing in 15 meters or less of water. So I'm fishing very shallow. So um, yeah, you wanna try and go as light as you can with your jig head and let it slowly waft down because most of the time the snapper, they're gonna eat it on the drop after that cast. So all I do right now is I just, and, and managing my line, making sure I'm not getting a heap of line going towards the boat. I've got a nice bend in it, so it can still naturally float down. You don't want to be too tight on it, but you want to be just tight enough that you could feel that little pluck or tick. Most of the time, a big snapper almost rips the rod out of your hand, so it's pretty obvious when you get hit, smacked by one of them. Um, and most of the time, it's on the drop. And then once it sinks, once I give it that time, so it's almost, probably time to start lifting it. I've given it probably 30, 45 seconds. And then I'll give it little, just little double twitches, nothing big. You don't wanna give big wax and stuff like that, especially with some of these plastics, they fall down the hook quite a lot. Um, so if you give little double twitches as if you're in the river. I give four or five double twitches and then normally I just bring it in. Um, but if I'm drifting really quickly, I wait for it to go right underneath the boat and then I'll bring it in. But the drift's a bit slower today, so I'll wait for it to get sort of close to the boat, and then, yeah, I'll bring it back in. Yeah, another one. No! Damn it. That was another good one. That's three good hits. I've only caught one. What happened there? I'm good, what? Damn it. I felt the tap. Right, so today, outfit of the day is obviously the Seven Seas Apparel Fishing Jersey, an amazing jersey for you guys to wear out fishing, whether it be in the summertime, wintertime, all year round. Made from recycled material, SPF 50 plus, so don't have to worry about putting sunscreen on underneath this shirt. Um, also very, very breathable. It's quite a hot day today, and uh, yeah, don't feel like I need to put on a singlet or a t-shirt at all. So go cop yourself some of the new merch from Seven Seas Apparel. Use code LUNATICS10 to get yourself 10% off as always. Yep. Looking at me phone, and we've got another snapper on. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Time now. Drag the drag off if I need to. Just got him out of the reef. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Oh yes! <laughs> oh yeah. That's a good one. 55 centimetre snapper, have a look at that. In shallow, here off Sydney. You just can't beat that. So good. So happy with that. Yoo! Woo! So cool. All right, what a session that was. An amazing little shallow water reef session. A couple of things that I learned that I probably haven't done before is one, learning about the tides. So we had a beautiful run in tide to about nine o'clock today. So something I'm sort of gonna keep in mind. They ate right up to the top end of that tide, probably a half an hour before the top of the tide. The bite started to really get really hot and uh, then it turned off like a switch straight away. So something to learn and uh, not really, I haven't really understood as to why we've got effect from run in and run out tides, but you can certainly see that you have some kind of effect there. So something for me to learn and you guys to learn 
as well. Other things is fishing in less than 15 meters of water. I've never really done that before. I've always fished that 20 to 15, but now I was fishing that 15 to 10. So that extra five meters shallower seems to have caught me a few more fish today. Who's to say that next time I'm gonna catch more fish, but still something to keep in mind and something that I'll continually work on throughout all of these episodes. So don't forget to subscribe to go along with all of these journeys. Have a look at all my other videos. I do a lot of how-to videos on how to catch fish in certain areas. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.